Leo, hello, beautiful soul. How are you? My name is Alicia. Welcome. This is Empath Tarot, where spirits' messages directly correlate with being highly sensitive here on planet Earth. Now, this is going to be a general reading, so if it does resonate, like, share, and subscribe so we can get spirits' message out there to fellow empaths. If you are interested in scheduling a personal reading with Spirit and I, all of the details will be down in the description box below. And for even more empath energy, check out my husband. You will love him. He gives such practical, easy to understand messages and guidance from spirit, particularly in the niche of business. His information is going to be down below. But without further ado, oh my gosh, let's dive in because there is definitely some beautiful new beginnings waiting for you, uh, whether in the form of a relationship, whether in the form of an offering of some kind that is going to make your heart melt. This could be a project, an endeavor. This could be a conversation of some kind. Either way, there's going to be a scenario, an energy in your life that's going to really, it's what you've been waiting for is what I am sensing. It's been a long time coming for you here, Leo, and it's going to be a, whew, definitely a new beautiful beginning for you. So let us see exactly what is going on with this energy. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. It feels like the hard times are over for you, Leo, and things are going to get really good here. Page of Cups, Six of Cups, a lot of growth, okay, a lot of evolution here, a lot of uh, self-discovery, um, and there is going to be a, so this offering here, we have the judgment card right in the middle, so there's a calling of some kind that's going to present itself. Um, it's going to come from all the experience and the adversity that you have faced in your past because of all of this. This is now the reason why you are ready. So this is really profound and really beautiful. Again, uh, there's going to be a lot of new beginnings that are going to present themselves. These are just ideas at this point, it feels like, right? So don't feel like you've got to capitalize on it necessarily. Make sure you remember that anything that sort of enters your world let it simmer a little bit, right? Because everything that we're meant to take action on will be so easy. Like the universe will make it so simple, so easy, so inspired that it's just, there's no other, you would just be like, well, why wouldn't I do this? It's just right here for the taking. You know, it's so simple. It's, 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 uh, it's just this inspiration and then you get the call and you go for it. It's easy, right? Anything that's like, we're, we're second guessing, we're thinking out, to have this thinking process. We're like, I don't know. It's not ready yet, right? Right? So just know that when it does come, let it simmer a little bit. All right. Um, feels like it might even be something that has come from the past. So you may have experienced this opportunity in your past chapter because this is what the universe does. The universe likes to plant seeds. So there may, this may have been a seed from a past previous chapter that has now come back and is now ready to capitalize on. So this is going to be very exciting. Now, remember, to the best thing that you can do for yourself, Leo, is to always, yeah, there's, remain, remain true to your knowing. And your knowing will only be visible, let's say, uh, and, and obvious when we are in a balanced and grounded state. Because when we are overthinking or overanalyzing or have a decision and it's just pinballs back and forth of our thoughts, D -d 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 -d, what do I do? I don't know. Is this work? Is this not working? It's, it's creating a stimulation within our energy centers, okay? And this stimulation turns into like psychic buildup uh, over time. And I mean, we get stimulated from everything. We get stimulated from being in traffic. We get stimulated from being around a lot of people. We get stimulated from our work. We get stimulated from thoughts, sugar, caffeine, even just foods, you know, unless they're completely cleansing, of course. But at the end of the day, we're always uh, absorbing, right? And so we've got to be mindful that we must take time and have a practice of either meditation, making sure we're eating clean, healthy foods, hydration is really important, uh, exercising, right? Just so that we have, uh, uh, we're, we're on top of this destimulation process, okay? Because that way you're going to be in your knowing, you're going to stay true to your knowing and your knowing is what you know, right? That's what a knowing is. You just, you're certain of it. You're certain. It's like, it's like, it's like having that certainty of, of and a certainty of the, like, for instance, when you think something, having that knowingness, like for instance, what your name is, right? You have a knowingness, you have a certainty of what your, your given name was in this human experience, right? You just know it, you know, that's your name, right? That's how everything's supposed to feel, how easy that feels, right? I know that, I know it's my name. I know my name's Alicia. Yeah, that's me, hello, that's me, right? You know it. 
This is how everything should feel. And when you don't know it, then that's when you just need to take a look at the energy that's being put into it. How can you know it better? Maybe learn something about it. Maybe educate yourself more about it. But don't get too concerned with the fact that you don't know. Just educate yourself. Make Set yourself up for success as opposed to overthinking it. Instead, dial it back, meditate, find that peace, bring that peaceful, confident energy into then what it is that you're trying to discover, trying to, uh, trying to get the results of. Okay. This new venture that you're going to have is going to lead you again through a lot of uh, growth in terms of healing old wounds, particularly from the past. And this is going to bring you a lot of strength because it's going to give you this newfound sense of self. You're going to reunite with yourself in a sense. Um, and it's going to lead you to a time and a, and an energy where you're going to, it's almost like it's almost like you've been climbing, you've been growing, you've been climbing, you've been growing, and now you're at a place, you're gonna, you're coming to a place with this new offering of what, what do you want next now? Everything is sort of settled. The dust has sort of settled. The growth phase is, 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 is at a halt for a time being, and you're now gonna be able to decide what comes next because you feel more secure and balanced and grounded, right? This is the best part. When we have this feeling, ah, okay, everything's calm. When everything feels calm internally, we know we have done some good stuff, right? We know we're in a good place. Now we're, now we can think, okay, what comes next? What do I want for my life next? Right? That's, that's the fun one. And that's, that energy is all here for you, Leo. So eight of cups coming forward. So walk away from anything that is not supporting you. Again, remember, be mindful of those thoughts. Right? Be mindful of where your thoughts lead you. Um, play a little game with yourself, right? Whatever, again, you know to be true, right? Your name, say your name. Or even say something like, like, what's your favorite food, right? Like, what is your knowing your favorite food? And your food that, like, actually is not like a junk food, but like a food that brings you life. Like a food you feel truly good about. You eat it every day. You're like, I love this. I'm, I'm good with this food. This is a good food. Makes me feel good. It's healthy. It makes me, it gives me energy. You know what I'm talking about, right? Now that, that thought around that food, you know, your knowingness you have now compare that to other thoughts that might not give you that same knowingness, then you have that energy to compare it to, right? Give that a try. That way when energy comes up, and you're like, I don't know, is it, is it good? Is it not good? Well, what do you know to be true, right? What is your knowing? You'll be able to revert back to that same energy. Okay, because, okay, so there is definitely a, a, a halting energy on something. We got both the hangman and the four swords coming out in reverse here. So There's definitely something you've got to recognize that no longer is working for you here, Leo. And you got to be real with yourself, right? What is your knowing? What is your truth? What do you know to be true? Because this new beginning in your life, this new offering, this new opportunity, you're now evolved and leveled up the video game level tiers. So what used to work isn't going to work anymore, right? It's not going to work anymore. So now you're going to have to really be mindful of where your energies go and what feels good and what doesn't feel good. You reach for those good feeling thoughts, Leo, and you're going to get a good feeling life, right? Because that's going to be the degree of your vibration. That's going to be in your awareness. But if we continuously make decisions that don't feel good to us and we keep making them, things feel pretty bad, right? We, we feel, we know that feeling. We know that feeling, right? And that's something we want to avoid here. So we have antelope spirit and we have canary spirit coming forward. So again, just that energy that things are going to be moving a little bit faster. Now here, you're going to be getting again, this beautiful offering, this new opportunity that's going to present itself. And, um, it's going to be one that's really going to align you with your purpose here. And well, what are your purposes? Cause we have lots of purposes. Every chapter holds a different path for us. Um, and so, um, now is the time to just embrace this, this energy with, with openness. And when we embrace it with openness, it means that we have no connection or, um, expectation. And, uh, when we have, when we, when we're too attached to something on a personal level, um, we don't, we're not really open because we will then 
prioritize what we're attached to and make it work. You know, we'll, we'll have excuses for ourselves of why we need this particular energy in our life. And it's creating a lot of limiting beliefs for ourselves. This is that Eight of Cups energy that you just want to be mindful of. What are you making excuses for to stick, to stay, when you know it's taking you away from who you're truly meant to become? Okay, that's... That's where the universe wants you to point your attention to at this time, Leo, because there are a lot of opportunities unfolding and for your evolution is now time to be really mindful with your truth and stay true to it. Stay true to your knowing, stay true to what makes you, you follow that feeling because that will truly bring so much uh, awareness uh, into your life. All right, Leo, so I hope you enjoyed your reading. I hope there was a message in here for you. If there was, like, share, and subscribe. I truly appreciate you. Spirit loves you. I love you, Leo. And until our next reading, keep shining, baby.